what we're doing here today is we have the Marines out here working on the RVM, Robotic Vehicle Modular System, that has two different payloads. Right now it has a remote weapon station on it. It also has a CART, which is a combat armed robotic targeting payload. These two payloads are uh, designed to get some uh, bigger assets down to the infantry platoon, squad, and fire team level. So right now it has an M134 minigun. The ability to put 3,000 rounds down uh, range in a minute and uh, carry more ammo for them and allow more firepower to the fight to allow the Marine to not be as burdened carrying everything with him. And then the car piece is uh, targeting and designation systems and, and they can use this to uh, remotely designate targets uh, for aircraft or any other laser guided munition. Today, what we're doing is a final exercise. For the past six weeks, these Marines of Kilo 35 and McWill have train to the technologies that we're integrating. So at the Marine Corps Warfighting Lab, we test and evaluate future concepts and technologies. We have a concept-based experiment that we're doing. We have over 40 technologies here in, uh, with the CLT Kilo 35. Some of them range from uh, five unmanned ground vehicles to five unmanned aerial systems. We're looking at technology that reduces logistics, which we have termed logistics demand reduction. Now we have unmanned ground vehicles, which can actually carry 240s and 50 caliber weapon systems. And it can be right next to a foot mobile company. So now we're bringing weapon systems that are not normally foot mobile to the company itself. We have five unmanned aerial systems that we're going to be uh, playing with. One of them is the Black Hornet. It's about four inches long. It is brought down to the squad level. This thing cannot be heard after it goes above 30 feet. So you basically can peek around the corner without the enemy knowing, and you can see what is around the next corner for that squad leader to know. The small quadcopter that uh, had been flying around is called the Instant Eye. It has three cameras that allow it to see straight ahead, 45, or straight down. You can reach out and see what's coming at you and what uh, you can be expecting here in the next 100,000 meters. The 40 technologies that we're experimenting with will make the Marine Corps more efficient, more lethal, and more survivable. So ultimately what we want is the first person or first thing in the door is a robot to get essay into what's around the next corner.
Yeah, I've got just a few. Should be good right now. We just charged the battery back up. So he's saying it's, he, he doesn't have a video. Oh, okay. So we're just gonna have them use one, one per squad. So do you have them set up? Can you break them out real quick so sure. we get them to, to pick up. them up? Station, you want this power on the whole time. If yeah. not, you want to turn it off because she'll draw power on that. So if I go look at your state of charge again, right here. I want to get up there, so this so is pretty 45 cool. is pretty Yeah, hot. that's pretty hot. So you gotta start lifting these up. Yeah, the batteries will get hot. Um, into the you know the 50s, then you got to start thinking about when. This is an enabler, it's a force multiplier, and it'll preserve uh, and, and combat power you know, from, from a safety standpoint, but it'll also uh, allow them to cover more area, larger area of influence. Uh, it'll let the, the current force do more, cover more area. Lightening the load, you know, they can offload it on here, they can get the objective, they're not tired, they could have more ammo, they can um, fight for 72 hours with this, they could load this up and then fight for 72 hours without resupply. So it allows, them. I think it's going to enable them to complete their mission that they're going to be given for this expeditionary, the, like the, the company landing teams. It, it's going to help make that possible because they're limited in the airlift that they can put in, but they still have to fight, they have to have their gear. So I think it's an enabler for the, the upcoming missions and the expeditionary profiles that are, they're looking at. This is the, the General Dynamics Land Systems Multi-Utility Tactical Transport, or MUT. So, yeah, so this is the uh, track version of the 4x4. Uh, you can swap out wheels. The wheels are um, also effective. The tracks are good for floating on mud and snow and sand. And there's also a 6x, uh, so six wheels, six driven wheels, uh, and then an 8x, which is uh, uh, eight wheels. And those are, are really filling the gap filled by the original M274 mule. The purpose of it is to help dismounted warfighters by carrying load, letting them offload equipment or carrying large, uh, more capable weapons like this where it would take five people, one person can get a, a, a 50 cal downrange. So 
So the idea is to provide lighten the load and then expeditionary power. People are always running out of power in the field. This will allow them to, to bring more, um, more gear, more batteries, or a charger to, bat to, to uh, charge up their batteries. Today what we're conducting uh, small unmanned uh, aircraft training. We have three profiles uh, systems that we find the PD-100. We have the uh, Instant Eye and the DJI Phantom. The intent is basically make these Marines basic operators. So they're designed pretty much for uh, close reconnaissance operations. They're not designed for long range. When Marines uh, hit the battlefield in their um, afforded urban environment, they could easily employ these uh, systems and get eyes on the enemy before they see us.